Hey guys, welcome back to another video from MTX Audio. Today, we're gonna walk you through installing our all new audio solution for this X3 behind me, so stay tuned. Okay, it's time for our lower kick panel pods, but before we do that, I wanna show you a few cool items about these things. One, they're gonna to come to you fully assembled. You don't have to put anything together, there's no running wires, drilling holes, or any of that sort of stuff in these pods. Next, they're gonna come with the harness that it's gonna include RGB and a connection to uppers if you use them, as well as a lot of hardware. Now the reason for all this hardware is, this will allow you to adjust these to perfectly fit your vehicle. So you can pull it tight, there won't be any gaps, which will cut down on any chance of anything rattling in the future. We're also gonna give you the hole saw to cut the holes to route your wires and the templates to do so. Now you're gonna to wanna to cut these out so that they look something like this. And then once you do this, you can just keep them. You won't need to cut them out again. The easiest way to explain how all this is gonna go in that car is to bring you over to the car and talk to you about it there. We wanna go ahead and start to remove the fenders. On the driver's side, we're gonna be removing nine T30 torques. They run all the way up the inside of the fender. There's two on the front, one here, and one hidden up here. Keep in mind, these have 10 millimeter nuts on the back of them, and then the last one is, is right inside the kick panel. Now that you've got all your hardware removed, you're gonna to need to remove two retaining clips on the top inside part of your fender well. With the clips removed, lift up on the hood panel, pulling your fender back and out as you do so. With the outer fender off, you'll notice that your inner kick panel is loose. You can go ahead and remove that from the car. All right, now that we've got the driver side fender removed, we're gonna go ahead and do the passenger side. This fender is the same hardware we just took off over there with the addition of the fuel filler neck which we'll get back to here in a second. First, we're gonna go ahead and get all the hardware out. Okay, so this fender removes the exact same way as the other one, except for the fuel filler neck. What we like to do is take the top hose clamp off and leaving this rubber piece here so that you have enough material to get a plastic bag over that and seal it so you're not smelling the fumes as you're working on the car the rest of the way. Since we're starting with the driver's side kick panel, and we removed the plastic earlier, we're gonna do the work on the bench. After we've got our template cut out, we slide it into place and simply mark our holes with a Sharpie. Now we can go ahead and drill these locations. Now that we've got our holes drilled, we're gonna temporarily mount this back into the vehicle. All right, since this driver's side panel is kind of loosey-goosey in here, what I suggest you do is take one of these body bolts that we used from before and just put it back in the bottom corner just to tighten it up so it's not falling out while you're trying to work on it. There you go, now it will stay in there. <clears throat> Next, you'll notice on the plate, on the mounting plate for the kick panels, you've got your two narrower holes and your two wider holes. The narrower holes, you can see by what you've drilled, go towards the back. So this is gonna sit in, this is gonna sit in like this. So what we need to do is, we need to get a clamp here and a clamp here to mount this in there before we can mount the clips. 
So taking a look at the, the brackets, you have a through hole and then a threaded back end. You wanna make sure since that block is gonna go right there that you're putting your through hole out. So you're gonna go ahead and um, snap that in. They're tight, but they're supposed to be. And then the opposite on the top. There you go. Next, we're gonna loosely install the blocks. Obviously, concave part towards the bar. The longest of the 10 millimeter bolts. You wanna snug it up. I mean, you don't need a tool at this point. You wanna be able to move it later on. So you just do it as tight as you can. You'll still be able to move it a little. And again, we're gonna do the same thing, same block. There is no right or wrong on the blocks. We're gonna tighten this down with our fingers. Get these in position. You can keep these loose. You're gonna, you're gonna be able to move them. So back to that bracket. Two narrower holes go to the back. Slide that between the post, down like so. The shortest of the bolts, you're gonna screw, again, finger tight, into the bottom of the bracket, or block, I should say. This inside one is tight, but you can get in there. Get them started. Okay, now slide it until your holes on your bracket are in the center of the holes that you drilled earlier. Now we take our kit panel, get the, get the wires freed up. brought cutters but I didn't. All right, you grab your last four three-quarter inch ten millimeters. You're gonna bring this around to the front. Feed your wires through the last remaining hole in the back. Like this. Reaching from the inside you should be able to line up and see. The brass inserts from the kick panel. Okay, that's it. Now those are the last ones you installed, but they're gonna be the first ones we tighten before we move on to the next step. So you wanna press the kick panel against the plastic panel, against the plastic to the vehicle. Tighten these all the way up. I get a little snug, but go till they stop. There is lock tight in there, so they'll stay. All right. Okay, so here's the beauty of this. You can see all the movement in this kick panel. That's, that's the reason those slots are in there. So we can pull this tight to the vehicle and then tighten up, tighten up these. Right handed, so this is difficult.
Same on the bottom. Actually, a wrench works best in there. By doing it this way, the clamps will align themselves to where you need to tighten them down. all snug so tighten these down out here route your wires up to the amplifier location and then you would just remove the bolt you were using to line everything up with, to hold it in there. All right, now you're ready to move on to the passenger side. Since the passenger side panel is currently in the car, we're gonna take our passenger side template, line it up, mark it, and drill it. 